commandments, but we also know that we got to use wisdom while we're in Babylon and slavery. Okay? I forgot what David fell on. I know it was actually a doctor's gift. So, first Samuel 15 verse 22 and Samuel said as the Lord has great delight in burnt offering and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord behold to obey is better than to sacrifice and to hear and to hearken than the fat rams it's better than sacrifice man and to hear his words is better than the sacrifice of lambs man Okay? That's why he sent us Yahweh Shai, the ultimate lamb, so we can believe on him. That's hearing him. And you understand that the law ain't going to make you righteous anyway. Okay? The law is good, but you know what I'm saying, and holy. But we're in these bodies we in, you ain't going to be able to uh, sustain and perform these laws to a T, man. So you got to believe on a higher source, a higher um, power, which is Yahweh Shai. Okay? The unblemished lamb. And obey what he said, man. The Lord said he's going to raise us up a prophet among our brothers, and he always do that. And the last one was Yahweh Shai, man. That, that was the ultimate. He raised him up, he said, and then he told John the Baptist, hear ye him when he shined the light on him. Okay, or the, the beam, the, um, the chariot beam on him. Okay, he said, this is my beloved, hear ye him. So we listen to Yahweh Shai. Okay, so uh, hit Hosea 6 and 6. Hosea uh, 6 verse 6. Well, I desire mercy and not sacrifice. And the knowledge of the Most High more than burnt offerings. The Lord wants you to know Him because of what He's told you in Isaiah 4 and 6. Well, get the one in Matthew about the cutting edge of corn. Yeah. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So if you don't have knowledge of the Lord, you're going to be destroyed, man. You don't know what's going on. You're just clueless, man. The system is being destroyed, designed to be destroyed. Okay, the white man is your enemy, the so called white man, which is the Edomites, the red man. Okay? Two thirds of our old people are cutthroats, okay? And they set up to make you go off, so you don't have no knowledge of that. You just walk a wandering, blind, um, naive individual out here, man. Okay? You the, you part of the darkness. You in dark. But well, we got the knowledge, which is the light, so that's why the Lord said, I desire mercy instead of sacrifice, and knowledge of me, um, uh, knowledge of God more than burnt offerings. That's why we ain't burning no lambs. Uh, throughout our life, man. We ain't sacrificing no lambs. The Lord said, also give the praises of the cast of your lips, man. Honor the Lord with the cast of your lips. The so Lord actually wants you to acknowledge Him and have knowledge of Him and exalt Him throughout your daily life, man. And praise Him and think of Him all the time. The Paul said, pray without ceasing. Like basically, your whole being is about serving Yahweh Shah and Yahweh Shah. That's what He wants you to have knowledge of. Everything that you take to look to Yahweh Yahweh Shah, man. Even when you're watching the game, you're watching news, whatever. Filtering it through Yahweh Yahweh Shah, these under the understanding, your foundation. Okay, you're filtering everything. Even your parents, your, your girlfriend, everything. Okay, Yahweh Yahweh Shah says she snares the nets. Let me come at her another angle. Okay, okay. Um, uh, just a regular uh, uh, Sambo nigga on the street. Oh, the Lord said they did uh, Raven Wolves. The Lord said among my people found wicked men. So you, you, that knowledge of the Lord is more than what you killing that man or whatever case and, or, um, or you going off in the scripture or you going off in this life and you sacrificing a burnt sacrifice man, or a lamb. There's no lamb or burnt sacrifice can ever trump or equivalent to Yahweh Shai's offering to the cross. No animal can equivalent or equal to Yahweh Shai's sacrifice for us. I got a, I got a preset to Hosea 6 and 6. It's uh, Proverbs 21 and 3. Do justice and judgment is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Do justice and justice. I mean, justice. Justice and judgment. Do justice and judgment is Do more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. More than sacrifice. The Lord wants you actually to be a circumspect, keen, good sense person in the society. He wants you to have good sense. That's it. You ain't, like the brother said, you ain't gonna be working all these damn hours and not get a drink of water because it's the Sabbath. Okay, if you're working on the Sabbath, you can, the Most High give you good sense. I'm at the drink water. Why? Because we got to bring that scripture out, Salafi, brother. How the Lord, how Yahweh Shai told that those Pharisees, the wicked ones, he cut them and told them, if your ass was in the ditch and you know they greedy men and they love money and, and the high seats and all that, you gonna get your your, your work your uh, your um your um work vehicle out of the um the ditch, man. Your ox out of the ditch. Okay, so they was hypocrites. Bring that out. Like I can say this real quick. 
you said about uh, like basically like you know if you happen to watch like a basketball game or a football game you know you guys still keep your mind spiritual like you know you should you can still filter out like that you know you got these guys like LeBron James throwing up you know all kinds of you know ridiculous signs and everything like that and you can see the demonic aspect of it yeah. and you know like during like the NFL football game the Super Bowl or like that the lights went out you know you kind of yeah. Any righteous man thought of it as a good thing, like, oh, hopefully this bitch is about to get destroyed. Like, yeah. if you had the mindset, like, oh man, what, what's gonna happen next? Now the game ain't gonna play. They, you yeah. are definitely in the wrong mindset. You know, I know what I heard. I, I literally turned that the, turn that game on right when the lights were off. And I was just hoping that that bitch was getting ready to fucking blow up by a bomb or something. Yep. You know, I just happened to turn it on. Like, That's oh why yeah, they it's didn't right. Do it too. Yeah. They yeah, because yeah, everyone, everyone was waiting for it, you know. Yep. <laughs> they knew we was waiting. We was waiting for something to happen. But I mean, you, you can't have the mindset like, oh, now I'm not, now I ain't gonna be able to watch the game. They ain't yeah. gonna finish it. You yeah, know, you got, the game is rigged. Yeah. All betting rackets. And all the people is paid off, man. Paid off to, to right. uh, play a role out there. That shit's all fake, man. That's what I. Like, but through the spirit, when I watch sports now, because I used to try to be an athlete and stuff like that. But I always, I, I know about the, uh, the, uh, the talent level and the competition, and I know those people don't be competing on levels that they should be. And they all play. They all they all got their agents and they the owners and all them is in their pockets. Yep. And you got um, Vegas in their pockets, yep. man. Like we brought this up before, just because just because one of the best players, you know, just because one of the better players is playing the best doesn't mean he is the best. All right, that doesn't mean that there's no one better out there than the referee him. Referee is the best. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the ref, the ref, I mean, and the coach is calling them fake ass plays. It's all a game. And it is also get you distracted because it's called an entertainment, which is amusement off of the real issues in the world and you all absorbed into this bull crap you're not winning with them people okay and they and then those celebrities all they gonna go do is do wickedness man you you idolizing people that the lord hates yep, yep, huh? but that's yeah. like you could... yeah like i was experimenting on what the brother said exposing to sports well in this movie uh i think it was in the 70s called semi-tough with uh, Bert Reynolds. uh basically it was about it was a football movie right so it was this coach and somebody asked him, he said, what do you like about football? He said, so the coach said, out of his own mouth, he said, I don't like football. I just like telling niggers what to do. See? So it's also a power trip. Well, you got that, that movie Blood and Bone, and the, the Jake was up to the Edomite, and the Edomite said, you're just entertainment or something like that. You're just a way of making money or some shit. If y'all remember back when T.O. was doing all them damn um, charades up here when he was in Philly, Terrell Owens doing sit-ups on the lawn and all that. That was all good entertainment. The white boys was laughing at him and the owners and all them, they look like, look at this clown. Look at this damn uh, Sambo nigga. And one, one interview, the spirit had me just watching the damn, his agent, Rothless, I forgot his last name, Rothless, or some shit like that. Yeah, well, he was a Jew, but not the quarterback. It was his agent. Maybe he had the same last name as Rothenberger, but he said, yeah, T.O. Terrell Rosenberg. Yeah, Rosenberg. He said, yeah, T.O., T.O., this is my horse right here, right on camera, on news. And nobody picked up on that, no Mac, the media, they didn't demonize or nothing. He told you Terrell Owens was his damn horse. I believe the brother Shimon.